pinch, pull back, pinch, pull back, pinch, pull back, pinch, pull back, pinch, pull back. I'm pinching off the twist with my front hand and then drawing back with my fiber hand. I'm letting the air from the newly released twist into that freshly attenuated fiber. To check my twist, I just do a plyback sample, just as I would when spinning wool. As for the setup of my wheel, I've got my flyer double laced, which allows extra time for twist to gather before it's drawn, before the yarn is drawn on to the bobbin. I've got my high speed whirl and I've also got the drive band set around the smallest groove, which is the faster of the two grooves. And now we're going to work our way into a long draw. Now initially, you can see that I cut off the twist again with my front hand, and that is just to gather enough twist to hold the yarn together as I work my way into the one-handed movement. There it is. Now I'm drawing back or drafting back with my fiber hand not going back as fully as I would if I had a wider frame. And right there, I also usually like to, to draft out uh, at an angle, and that's fine, whichever is most comfortable for a fluid movement. There you go, one-handed drafting, one-handed, one-handed. I am managing the twist in between my fingers right there. If I feel the yarn's going to fall apart, I, I clamp down to gather the twist there. Again, I would normally draw back a lot farther, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So while it didn't look like all that much was happening, I actually worked my way through that entire strip of cotton. And now we're going to do a supported long draw. So here the big difference is your front hand manages the twist or it's the gatekeeper of the twist. And the back hand is the same as the, the back hand or the fiber hand is the same as what we've been doing. It's drawing back, drafting back, and you can see the front hand, I'm trying to get used to, or I'm trying to find a good spot to cut off the twist. Your hands should be farther apart like mine are now, not like they were initially. And I, when I feel like the yarn is holding together well enough, I start drafting backward with the fiber hand. It'll become more fluid in just a second. There you go. Now I see all those slubs too, and we're going to address that in the fourth and final uh, section. Now, double draw is my favorite. I think of it as a combination of all the moves we've done this far combined together. This is where we go in and 
really fix any slubs or inconsistencies in the yarn. So first you draft back and then you cut off the twist. I just did that. You cut off the twist in between your hands, pinch it off, and then with your back hand, your fiber hand, you draft back one more time. So it's a double draw. You draw back once, then you segment off anything you'd like to fix. Here I'm about to do, do that and fix these slubs. See, I'm twisting, I'm cutting off the twist, and then I'm drafting back once more with my back hand. And you can see the yarn's much more consistent right there. Here I'm trying to show off how strong the yarn is, but you can't hear it, so it, just take my word for it. And I'm going to go over the moves one more time. I'm doing long draw, long draw, long draw. Double draw. Yeah, that's, that is satisfying. Doing a little supported long draw. Double draw. Like I said, that is my favorite. And uh, thrown in there was a little bit of short backward draw as well. So all of these woolen methods of drafting are really, they're, they're all good for, and, and they're not the only way to spin cotton, but they're really great for spinning such a short staple. And uh, I hope you'll try them and see which one works best for you. Now there's much more information, uh, a full article up on the Schacht website, and it is on uh, how to spin cotton using your favorite everyday wheel. So no special equipment, uh, no spindles, because you know some people want to just use their wheel. And there's a lot more to see there. It is November 15th, 2018, and you can find it over there on their blog. Thanks so much for watching, y'all.